All right, guys, that was a close one. I hit record. Four seconds in, I noticed the mic was muted, so we're in a good we're in a good place today. <laughs> we're very aware and astute, and we're catching things, which is important when you're trading. So let's take a look at TK. We're checking out our tanker stocks. Daily time frame, we saw some bearish follow through from our bears. And uh, then we talked about this in yesterday's video. From the high of 455 to 412, what we expected as the most likely outcome was going to be a lower high under 455 because a straight shot up to new highs is very rare indeed. And that's what we saw. We drew this out with this fandangly little line here and uh, just happened to work out right about in the right spot. That's just coincidence. But we did see the lower high and we see a drop below 412. And I suspect that happened very early on or in pre-market. Yes, pre-market action took that out right away. We came up with a little bit of a back test, but bears really controlled the entire day here. The only time we really slowed down was when we got into the area of this uh, 380 support. And in fact, it's 31, 380 is our actual level. If we go to our five minute time frame, we can see how that came into play. So over the course of the day, 382 is our low. And we're basically just going sideways to the double top at 398. So the same story applies at this point. We're looking for an hourly trend. And at this point, what we need to see is another hourly lower high under 435. What's happening here is this good sideways consolidation. If we see 398, then a target is going to be anything under three or 435. So that little game is going to continue. We're going to see until we have a reason to change this expectation. We're going to look for, come on, where's my little, where's my brush? Well, I don't know where it is, but we're going to look for is 455 to have that lower high, lower low pattern until the game changes. And right now, that's the expectation that I have. And I'd like to be proven wrong with a straight shot back up to 455. But the most likely outcome realistically would be a lower high with resistance at 412. A perfect touch at 412 to more downside would be great. And then a lower low under 380. And that's a short term outlook. If we lose 380, we're getting into an area with a real lack of support here on the daily time frame. And uh, nothing really uh, stands out as a, as a key support into 284. So keep a close eye on TK. If you're looking for a short entry, look for that lower high on the hourly. NAT on the daily time frame, very similar story. We saw bearish follow through and continuation on today's candlestick. And we see a touch of our EMA eight on the daily, which suggests that we are both in an area of a lack of support. And we can see that with this gap here. And then we reach some oversold conditions. If we go to the five minute time frame, we'll check that out. We're gonna start right there on NAT. So there is a drop very clear five minute oversold bounce and let's get rid of that volume bar that was a pretty good one but we only got to ema 8 on that bounce to me i like to see for significant amounts i need to be over ema 12 on a five minute oversold so we did our ema 8 we got ourselves a nice little tightening range here and if we go to the one or two minute time frame that's going to be a beautiful wedge into a little bit of a breakout and then we just go sideways for the remainder of the day so what the most likely outcome for nat right now is going to be either an hourly or a four hour bear flag we're getting a little extended for an hourly bear flag but if we go to the hourly all we need to see is another little hourly downtrend and in fact why don't we draw that out at six dollars support what i'd like to see on the hourly time frame to lock in that four hour bear flag would just be the bull so basically just do this and if we go to the four hour time frame, what that does is it flushes out a few more candles for us on this bear flag. It shows a lack of commitment on the part of the bulls. And that's really all the bears need to see is a lack of commitment. And then they can capitalize on that weakness, crash through $6 psychological. And then the next support is way down at 522, which would be a likely target for bears on a execution of a flag. A pattern like that has two components. We have that first breakdown, we have that consolidation, and then we have that second phase. I find that after the second phase, things start to develop into new consolidation patterns because that pattern has played out. So that's what I would be looking for. In order to change that tune, what I would need to see would be a conclusive break on the part of the bulls over top of our $6.60 level. I'm okay to break that with a little bit of a push. If we come back down, that's sort of the expectation that we see, expect to see with a, a bear flag. But what I need to see is high volume, committed volume, and a strong bull break to the upside. And if we can get to four or 685 and touch that EMA 26 on the hourly, that will definitely negate that bear flag. So I'll keep a close eye on this right now, playing out more or less as we expected with that lower high, lower low hourly pattern. FRO on the daily time frame, we're seeing some weakness into aftermarket here. 
and we see that we have crashed right through our key support 91105 was lost pre-market as well and then we see a little bit of a dip we don't have much in the way of support in the daily time frame so we have to look for the four hour right now in the daily we're happy right where we are not even close to oversold so that means we need to go to our four hour time frame and look to see what's happening here we've changed the four hour trend now we've got a four hour this is actually more of an hourly uh, pattern so four hour higher highs higher lows now we lost our uptrend on the hourly time frame setting lower lows and lower highs now what we're trying to do is establish a lower high on the four hour so what we're going to look for would be a four hour lower high come on trading view don't fail me something under 1068 so again same idea we crash down we bounce up and we keep trending until that trend changes that's always the idea following the price action development so on the four hour time frame, we're probably not close to oversold at this point, 35, which means on the hourly, we definitely are. We've consolidated nicely. We developed an hourly downtrend. And what we're looking for is a new lower low. 840 support is key to change the hourly trend. We've got a lot of work to do. It's likely we would need to set a lower high under 1068 than a higher low and try to break it that way. We've extended too far down to go and expect just a straight shot back up again. Same idea applies. Straight down means we need to establish higher lows and higher highs that way we can get a new key level to break build a base of support and see something that's definitive that allows us to understand how the price action is changing and how key levels are being broken right now we don't have a lot to work with so it's up to the bulls to prove that out tnp on the daily time frame another situation where we're seeing bearish follow through and again we're overbought on the daily this is good consolidation it may go much further to the downside than what we're seeing right now but we haven't consolidated on the daily and our last daily support really it's kind of a mess on this guy but between 327 and 311 we got a lot of daily lows and a lot of volatility so bases of support have been established somewhere in here it's not very clear or definitive but this is a good place for us to start scouting an entry if you're long and you've got a very very strong bull thesis on tnp which i don't uh, 327 is going to be an area for you to be looking for your reversal patterns so on the four hour time frame we have lost our four hour uptrend we're now looking at lows and lower highs and lower lows but at this point we're starting to see this little bit of a rounding curve and i i only call it a rounding curve because i see a tightening range on these candlesticks what we're going to look for is going to be a lower high underneath the magic 441 and on the hourly time frame there's that consolidation a nice tightening range and as long as bulls are able to break bull get out of this what we're going to see is development most likely what we're going to see is a development of an hourly time frame and a lot of these charts are starting to sound very similar because this we're all looking for the similar thing situation and a similar thing and sometimes that's just the way it works if you're trading a sector sometimes they all trade in tandem sometimes they do things that are a little bit weird in which case uh sfl certainly stands out in that regard just today we saw an indecision candlestick with a very brief break over top of a key resistance level which was 1135 the high of that way was three cents higher than the previous we got increasing bull volume today with a marabuzo open which means the bulls have fought definitively from the very very opening moment of the day and they've negated this shooting star candlestick and this indecision candlestick showing us that they still have some intent to the upside so right now we're gonna look for resistance at come on 1174 on the four hour time frame you can actually see in pre-market how that has come into play uh, that was from yesterday and right now in after hours we're getting very very close to that level so that would be something absolutely critical to watch and on the four hour time frame we're also going to be looking for support at 1090. so sfl really stands out as far as the bulls we saw a very very strong day today possibly we would have been looking for a wedge mm, yeah i probably would have called that a wedge but it certainly didn't break uh, one thing i will note as we saw on the other day the pre-market levels here and the action that we're seeing relatively low volume and uh, it's something that you should definitely be cautious about watching and making trade decisions on however we've seen now one two three almost four candlesticks telling us that the 1174 is going to be a key level so if we're going to see uh sfl act as a laggard to the other sectors what we're going to look for is going to be a loss of today's low of day which is 1115 then we have a uh, daily support at 1090 we go to the hourly time frame let's go mark that out 1084 is our daily support hourly time frame what we're going to see is a rejection from 1174 then we're going to look for a loss of hourly higher lows 1118 looks like a nice level and maybe even 1130 few bases of support established here if we lose those then we're going to be looking for four hour and daily consolidation and that is if and if sfl acts as a laggard 
if we get over 1174 and we hold that in regular trading action that will be very very bullish for the sfl bulls and um yeah i'm curious to see what they're able to pull off if they can get that done they will be very extended and we know what happens when we're extended but it uh, should be an interesting day uh that's all i have to say hope you enjoyed the videos uh if you want to learn more about technical analysis send me a message i'll give you some resources and we got a free course too check it out